Hi, my name is John Lockley. I'm a Costa Sangoma from South Africa and uh, I'm coming here to, to America, to the West, to bring an awareness of African spirituality and mysticism. And I come from Nelson Mandela's tribe, the Kosa people, and uh, Desmond Tutu's tribe. And um, I'd like to start off by singing a song, a song called Masiembo, which means let us remember the old ways, let us remember our humanity. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Masiembo. Hey Jock, Indo Yangwe, John Kit Kelly Lockley. In the Angola Manyange, Tamago, the Angola Tikoam, Tamago, the Angola Bazalibam, Tamago, and the Angola Ukeli, Tamago, the Angola Lockley, Tamago, the Angola Bazalibam, Tamago, the Angola Tishla Kaziwam, Mamguevu, Tamago, the Angola Mamtech, Tamago, the Angola Mamwabe, Tamago, the Angola Tarakaiza, Tamago, the Angola Subwini, Tamago. The angle the bash tamago, the angle the bomb tamago, the angle the salt tamago, the angle the bomb tamago, the angle the matric bang a pansy of lunch in tamago, and the angle and jet as tamago. E gamalam tingle and daba. Nalikrecha, cool. The angola abazali, bake. And the angola and dwayne dwayne. The angola is in yanya zabo. Did it tamago. Da biza manyange, iza apa, iza apa. Uvul and lela, 
amanyanke uvule lelo tiqhawama ngqeda bantu ukuphupha kakhuhle ngqeda bantu ukuyiva kakhuhle uyiva ungqeda bantu ukukhumbula ngendlela endala qamaku so i'm saying in english I honor and praise the great ones, honor and praise the ancestors, honor and praise the great spirit, honor and praise my parents, the Lockleys and the Kellys, and my bloodline going back to time before time. I honor and praise my teacher, Mam Gwevu, who's part of the Kosa tribe. I honor and praise her husband, Tadis Ugwini, and I honor and praise all our elders going back to time before time. I honor and praise the people below the waters, the water spirits, and uh, I honor and praise all my clients in this world and the next, and I honor and praise their ancestors. And I ask the great ones to help open the road for us so we can see clearly, feel clearly, and speak clearly in this world and the next. I ask the great ones to help us to dream and to remember our humanity. City Masiembo, let us remember our humanity. Let us remember what makes us human. So part of my work is um, I call Ubuntu Ubunzulu, which means the depth of humanity. And uh, in our culture, in the Kosa tribe in South Africa, we speak about Ubuntu. And Ubuntu means humanity. And uh, the job of the Sangoma is to help people to remember who they are, to help people to connect with their ancestors, to help people to connect with their bones and with their blood. So, why is that important? Because when we know where we come from, then we know where we're going to. So, the purpose of Ubuntu, the teachings of Ubuntu, is to help people to reconnect with their spirits, reconnect with their hearts, and reconnect with their community. So why is African shamanism important? African shamanism nowadays is very important because it's in Africa today we have many many different tribes and lineages. We have over 53 different countries, many different cultures and in many cultures it hasn't been like in Europe, many cultures are still intact in terms of the medicine teachings, the indigenous teachings. And when it comes to working with the old ways of plant medicine, dreams, and old, the old spirituality of the past, many of the old cultures in Africa are still intact, or relatively intact, compared to other parts of the world, like in Europe, in Germany, in England, and America, where these old ways have been forgotten almost completely forgotten. So we can learn from Africa and we can learn from the ancient teachings of Africa and one of the areas we can learn from is the area of ancestors. There's a great fear of death in the Western world because people are divorced and disconnected from their own ancestors and from their own bloodlines. So we see the importance of reconnecting with our ancestors because it's all part of being a human being and remembering, remembering our loved ones who have passed over to the other side. So, um, with the whole idea of ancest, ancest, working with ancestors, it's been largely misunderstood in the West. And the reason is because when the missionaries came into Africa, they thought that African people were worshipping their ancestors. And they made a big mistake because traditionally in Africa and many different cultures, the people would be worshipping the Great Spirit, Utiko, but they wouldn't be mentioning him a name, but instead they would be going through their ancestors as intermediaries because it was seen as disrespectful to approach the Great Spirit directly. They would go through their ancestors or grandparents who have passed on and they would ask them to please speak to the Great Spirit. And 
intercede and help them with famine and help them with drought and help to bring rain and things like that. So their focus on ancestors and honoring and revering the ancestors was seen as a respectful and correct way to treat their elders, the elders who have passed on to the other side. So that's where the whole idea of ancestor worship or ancestor veneration came about.